How's it going, everybody? It's me, the Wombat. You might see me in the chats, or you might actually watch my videos, but here I am, and I'm doing something special for you guys today. Real quick, shout out to my buddy, Gil Skills, new guy I've been following lately. Go check out his channel, G-I-L-S-K-I-L-L-Z. Oh, wait. Go do it this way. Pinky's out for prosperity! Because I'm drinking the cherry Pepsi and it's just that much more fancy. Anyways, this is a special delightful treat that was brought to me by one of his friends, Mickey XOXO, as well as E Waste Mike. Shouting out everybody tonight. So if I've missed you, I'm sorry, but shout outs to everybody. So what this is, is. A tuna sandwich but a particular kind of topping with the tuna I've already opened my can of bumblebee tuna not a sponsor but they should be <laughs> anyways I'm just messing around because I'm just weird that way yes and I am using my music stand as a table while I am out here in the garage and oh, let me just put that there I can clean that up later Anyways, there's the tuna. I've drained it. I got. I did get the tuna, chunk light tuna in water. The oil stuff, I don't really like. The water stuff's better. But anyways, I was thinking, people are having these particular type of tuna fish sandwiches. And I was thinking, you know, there's different kinds of bread that people can use. For example, if you're in Chicago... Home of the bears. They give it to you like this so it looks like a dag. Actually, that looks more like a lobster roll. If you're from uh, Maine, or ba like Bahaba, or if you're from Boston, that's a lobster roll. <laughs> it's tuna. Come on, Wombat, what are you doing to us? Or, if you're like me from Southern California, we have vendors that serve street tacos. That's right. They do the pescado tacos, which is fish. Make sure you get all that lovely fish onto the tortilla. I know it's pronounced tortilla. I'm being dumb. <laughs> so anyways, you might get like a little fancy taco like this. Still looks kind of like a lobster roll. Actually, let's put our tuna on just one tortilla for some reason i was thinking there's gonna be more in the can but i should have known better right doesn't that look scrumptious right there but mr hot dog vendor or the guy with the lobster roll remember the lobster roll i, I hope you remember this just a couple minutes ago or a couple seconds ago or other but anyways these look kind of plain don't you think what they need is topping what kind of topping hmm I know. Grape jelly. Welch's Concord grape. And so you guys know there's no funny business. Brand new bottle of jelly. Um, this is not some purple tartar sauce or anything like that. But this is mm, good Concord grape jelly. Nothing but the best. So, no man, don't do it. So if you get a dog, you hold the dog in one hand or the lobster roll. And you put your condiment on there like so. Brand new bottle. It's been in the fridge. Because I like my jelly to be chilling. Look at that. Doesn't that look like a thing of beauty right there? And then let's do the same for the street taco. You'll be able to see this a little bit better. Anyways, here we go. Bon appetit. This is Julia Childs. The concord grape of the jelly brings out the scaliness of the tuna fish. I really love this lobster roll. Mmm, delicious. Let's try it 
in a street taco form. We have street tacos in many places like Texas, where my friend Dr. Phil is from. I don't actually know him, but I like to imitate him sometimes. So, anyways, what you're trying to get at here is a proper way to eat a tuna fish sandwich. This does not look like proper tuna fish, if you ask me, or at least not a proper topping. Mmm. This way is a lot better because when you bite into it, you get the squishiness of the tuna juice dancing with the jelly. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. No, just kidding. <laughs> this is actually... It was actually a little gross, <laughs> but I did it, so try it yourself. Don't knock it till you try it. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for me. Have a great one. I'll see you guys real soon. Bye-bye.